Good morning, good morning, my Roundupers. Happy 4th of July to you. My sunglasses on, my eyes going bad, I'm not wearing them. Welcome to the real estate roundup.com. My mission statement Chris Haskins, real estate roundup.com. My mission statement to uplift the financial literacy of my fellow man through real estate investing today. Once again, you don't watch this channel because of my sexy looks. You do not watch this channel because of my beautiful smile, although I think it is. But you watch this channel because you do not know where real estate is going to take us in a day because I don't know what's going to happen. So today, we are headed to a house to take a look at a motivated seller. The gentleman has a house in Hampton, Virginia. What's going to happen today is we're gonna go visit him at the property. He told me that there are squatters in this house, so I'm gonna hope that we don't run into any run into any drama when we get there. But you just never know. You just never know what's going to happen when you show up to these houses. So he said there's someone living in the house right now. His mother moved out quite a while ago, I don't know how long, but somebody's moved in it, they call them squatters. So we shall see when we get there if we've got someone in the house that we have to put out. The seller told me, or the seller's son told me that he's gonna have the police meet us there this morning together. So as we arrive, the cops will be there from what he said. So this ought to be a good one for you today, a good training. He told me that there's the 070. My, I believe our exit strategy for this house is going to be a subject two. And what is subject two? All we're going to do is take over the mortgage payments <clears throat> for the life of the loan, depending on the condition of the property. All right. So I will bring you back when we get to the property to see what is Hollywood inside. See what's going on inside regarding these squatters. Should be some juicy stuff for today. Okay. Okay, so I just got a text message from the owner saying do not park in front of the house. So I'm gonna just give you a quick shot of what the area looks like. Probably we've got $135,000 houses here. No, I'm sorry. The address was 635. These houses are probably in the 109. 99 to 109 hundred thousand dollar houses nothing really too spectacular so we're coming up on the house that's the house right there doesn't look like anybody's in there but we shall see so he told me not to park in front of the house so I'm gonna go down the street one more time then I'll circle around and park on the other side just to some drama popping up, popping off, pop, 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 popping off. We'll sell see. Looks like it's going down, guys. The seller just called me. He said he's getting ready to call the police, and he wants to make sure that the people that are in the house, the squatters, don't try to get away. So we shall see if they are going to be there when the police get here. And that's our seller down the street, right there. And that, oh, man. Oh, okay, and that suburban right there. And the house is right over next to him. So what we'll try to do is discreetly, uh oh, discreetly walk down the street once the police show up. And I would love to get this on camera. This is gonna be some juicy stuff for you guys. So let's wait and see what happens here. All right, looks like the police are here, class. We're gonna have one for you. Oh Lord have mercy. But I don't want to bother him yet until mm -hmm. Alright, we got a female cop. Don't put the smack down on these guys. Ought to be interesting. 
but we got two cops here. We shall see what's going to happen. See, I can tell that they inside in there because uh, those windows are open wide. I saw it upstairs? Yeah, and I they closed them before breathe. I left. Yeah, exactly. When, when was you here? I came here from, um, I came here maybe a couple weeks ago. You closed I, them? Yeah. <laughs> And see, so what I did is I put their ball on the front door. Now they can't get out, because what they did last time is the cops came through the front and they ran out the back. What well, they the ran hell? out the front because it was just a, you know, regular turn lock, yeah. so they were able to get out. Now I believe they put their ball on the front, so they- At nighttime. At nighttime. Yeah. Well, they somebody in there now. The cops are here. Yep. And I just like to call the cops, so I make sure anybody in there before we go in there. Yeah. And then at the same time, I want to catch them. Yeah, man, lock them fools up. Shit, they squat. Is that good? God. What, are they kicking the door in? No, no, they got my key. I'm talking about the people. Oh, no, they coming through the kitchen window. window. They're climbing up on the trash can. And I think before, when those bushes, I paid to get all the bushes cut down, but they could get over here because there nobody living in here. The old man is keeping, keeping an eye on this house now. Okay. For the lady that owns it. Uh, so they were getting in through that side window. Unbelievable. Now I'm going to I'm gonna have to... Um, a, uh, I gotta get some plywood put up here. Oh, they broke the damn window. No, the window's good, but they just can slide it open. You know what you can do sometimes? These are wooden windows. You can just put a screw right, a wood yeah. screw in there so it can't open, but it'll probably just break it, man. Yeah. Look at this. This is the first, I must have said. Yeah. I have <laughs> not seen, I've seen a lot in my day. Uh-huh. But having to deal with a squatter <laughs> Still for them, dog. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, they're a squatter, man. I deal with a lot of uh, hard-working Mexican guys, and I said, why not fix the house up for me? You yeah, might let you stay there. there. Yeah, you got a daggone good point. I, 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 would, I would be willing to they clean out this whole house, uh -huh. get all the stuff out of it, because my mom, she just left and she stayed with my sister. That's right. I would be willing to let them take care of it, take care of it, clean it up for me. That's a good point. Shit. Eventually, I could maybe rent it out to them. You right. I mean, they're probably point. working. I don't, I, you know. I don't know. They might. You never know if they crack it into yeah, a wood. Yeah, exactly. I don't really see any sign. I mean, I do see a little sign of drill, but I don't know. You know, they're doing so much new stuff now. Yeah. Um, but I, I came on here maybe a couple weeks ago, and I got the urine bottles and stuff out. Um, oh, it's no water. No water. <laughs> yeah, ain't no water in there. No How power the now. How do you live in the? Yeah, exactly. No water. Yeah, it reeks in there, and you know, the rodent's not in there no more because it ain't nothing in there. Oh, God. <laughs> We're blessed, aren't we, bro? Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. We're blessed. Good God. And I'm, water. I'm building out supper now. That's right. You got your house out there. So, I'm trying to sell mine, too. Yeah, you told me over there on Boswell. Mm hmm. You probably need to sell to an owner occupant over there. Somebody's yeah. going to live in it. Yeah. But, um,. I think this is a cool rental area. I think 750 you probably get for rent around here. Yeah. What, what would it rent for? This is uh, a two bedroom, right? Two bedrooms, one a one big bedroom up there. Okay. So the police are inside, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you see the cop? I guess they have backup show up. Another cop there. Yeah, yeah. And this lady, she is the one that always comes out here. Really? They send it out for me. So here they come. Got the yeah. cops coming here. Yeah. Let's see what they got to say. It seemed like, it seemed like one season. Uh, I appreciate it. So what I, what do you think I need to do? I think they leave, they leave early. They probably leave early. Um, I think I should come up here and Because upstairs, they won't be able to go upstairs. So unless they have a ladder. Yeah. All right. Thank y'all. No problem. No problem. All right, y'all. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right. Yeah. Come out on a holiday. Uh -huh. What'd they say? Um, they just said uh, maybe we'll go ahead and try to put some plywood all the way around because they can't get so they can't unless they got a ladder that's on the way to get up to upstairs. Okay. But uh, ain't nobody in there now. Well, that's good. So we can go ahead and uh, you know, I can walk through. Yeah, let's do it. And uh, what I'll do is I want to I like to air it out while I'm here. <laughs> so what I'll do is uh, open up the um, front so we can open air it out. All right, I'm gonna let you do that. I'll be. All right, yeah, I'll be right back. All right. All right, guys, we had a pretty good one today. I guess we didn't have any squatters showing up. But so if you look up here, you can see the window is open, definitely. So somebody is coming and going. 
in this property. It's a good thing we didn't have to worry about the cops having to hurt anybody or detain anyone. Let's take a look so far. I see where this property is. hasn't been grass hasn't been cut here. This is super bad, but <clears throat> is that oil tank live for the house? Uh, it used to be. What kind of heat is it now? Same thing. Okay. But I just, we just ain't used to. Yeah, okay. If you notice here, oh man, this is terrible. See how this siding is black here? Look right here. See how we need some type of a fall hanging there. But that water's coming straight down, which is always bad. Always bad to have water close to your house. You need an overhang. But see how they have gutters there? They put gutters on there. But oh, oh my goodness, every one of these houses has that same. Oh, why didn't they put an overhang? Every house, you can look down there, falls right down in the back. They put gutters, there's gonna be some gutters on here. That water's gonna murder you. That water gets behind that siding there, you're freaking done. You're done. Matter of fact, if you look back on one of my videos, you'll see. I did a house, we had to, the whole back of the house is falling down. Let's see if I give you a link to that one. All the tanks will have to be removed. See what we got. I didn't open up that front. Um, you good, man? Is this on a crawl? Oh yeah, this yeah. is a crawl. So I didn't open up that front because they um, they, it's a wasp nest in there. In the front. Okay. Yeah, in the front door. That's fine. So I think my guy next door did lock it, but look what they did. They uh, look like they broke it open. The one, yeah. yeah, the window. They ripped it off. Yeah, because he was, he did lock it. I know he locked. He, he said he was gonna do it for me too. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a mess yeah, in there. It's all good, man. So what is it that you want? What in an ideal situation? What is it that you want to do here, bro? Man, I I would love to rent it um, for myself, but you know my mom, you know she didn't want me to do it at the time, and so now I got my own prop situation now. So I kind of just want to get it off her hands so she can um, not have to worry about it. Well, yeah. what? How did it get like this? She wasn't living in it like this, obviously. No, nah, no, nah, they came and they tore it up, kind of. I mean, With the squatters. Yeah, it was. Well, it was a mess, really. But we had cleaned it up, mm -hmm. and then I think from them just going through it, and I don't know how long they were here. Good they just kind of tore it up. We had tore this joint all to pieces. Yeah. Ravage through everything trying to find what they could find. That's right. That's what they'll do. Yep. And you know, I cleaned up. They were cleaning up down here and I was cleaning upstairs. Mm -hmm. And upstairs were pretty pretty clean, pretty well off. So now they just, I don't know what they're doing now. Yeah, this joint is on. Um... Yeah. Wow. Hmm. You see, they, can, they went through like all this. Dressings, I mean, cabinets and everything. Ravage through this door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody doing something. You can see the blunt guts on the floor. Mm -hmm. Taking out, at least it's smoking. Do, have you got everything out of here that you want, Brother Kenny? Yeah, yeah, I can't. I mean, between the rats and stuff like that, it, I wouldn't keep any of this stuff. Chicken bones on the floor, chilling. Yeah, we need to, you to just get whatever you need and go, man. We gotta get out of here. That's from something got to be broken down, whether it's food or. Yeah, it must be. It must be that they have uh, that window. It must be getting through that window now. Yeah, they gonna get in, man. Since the window is open. This ain't bad up here. See, they opened up. See, I, I, I used to live up here when I was growing up. Okay. And, you uh, grew up here. Yeah. Oh, so they, they, all this stuff had been cleaned out. Yeah, somebody sleeping right here. That's what they do. Yeah, it was three of them in here. Three people? Yeah, three, three, or three setups. Oh, okay. They got some shoes in here. Somebody definitely. Oh yeah, these are crackheads, man. Yeah, a lot of stuff is just. Uh, they eat that on can, dog. Yeah, a lot of stuff is just like. Uh, yeah, just hand like to mouth. Said, shit, they eat. Dude. They eat out of those cans, and that's causing them flies and flies just ravaging yeah. up here. Look at your piss balls. That's how I know they're still up here in the night and shit. Damn. Yeah, they're just uh, opening up cans. They're just trying to get by, dog. Yeah, exactly. They're just really trying to get by. 
Hey, this ain't nobody here. Shit, they go. All right, well, we walk to the house. We can talk outside. Might be best since. Yeah, kind of. Stuff is cool. Get you down here. This is none of your stuff here? Yeah, it's all old stuff. I ain't with none of this. What's in here? Oh, that's that uh, room we just was in. Oh, okay. Damn, what can be? <laughs> yeah. Turned around, dog. Small house, I'm turned around. Mm, so I feel the the floor is a little soft in the yeah, in the kitchen due to uh, the pipe that had busted. Right here, okay, it's right. You said that under the floor, right. and uh, I don't know exactly how long it was running, but we had redone done the kitchen when my dad passed away. Okay, redid the kitchen, but that pipe busted in one winter, and gotcha. you know I didn't know the cutoff is in that closet, so I was able to cut it off. But okay. Well, that's what that it is, my brother. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Huh. Kids getting up in a minute and we'll be gone. Yeah. So, you, so, so your ideal situation is what, bro? If you could go to bed at night, wake up in the morning with this thing off your plate, what do you want to do? So you see where I'm using the wake, go to bed at night, wake up in the morning. I want to get some, after, we're, after we've walked through that nasty house, I want to get some positive emotions positive pheromones coming out of his pores from all that nastiness that you just kind of almost like getting out of a out of a bath where you're getting out of the old stinky bath water and now you're clean i want to start talking about some positive stuff that's why i always like to go to bed at night wake up in the morning this problem solved what is it that you would like to do that's going to get his mind we always like to focus on getting people's minds out of the house okay so we use that one to get them closed out I would love to be able to get um, whatever my mom owes on it. Uh, how much is that? I don't. I think it might be sixty to seventy thousand. Okay. I ain't hundred percent sure. She she hasn't really told me what it was. Around that. Yeah, around there. And uh, if I could get her some money, a little bit of money in her pocket, all right, to make her, you know, feel like you know, because she's trying to. She, my dad passed away. She's trying to hold on to it. When did he pass? He passed in 07. Okay, it's been so a while. Yes, yeah, it's been a while, but she didn't want to get rid of it. Okay. And so she stayed in here for a while, and now she's to the point that she wants to get rid of it. How long has it been vacant? It's been vacant for a while. Let me ask you, let me turn this way to see. Uh, let me ask you about, they own the house forever. You they, grew up here. Yeah. Why do they still owe 70, 60, 70? I think they, I, okay, so right here, I need to find out how, why are we in this situation? How in the world, since they owned the house for 40 years, are we here today where they still have a mortgage on this property? Something doesn't seem right to me, but I'm not saying that it's good or bad. Just need to know the facts so we can say, hey, from time to time, unfortunately, if people aren't wise or good stewards of their money, they could have a little bit of punishment. It's like when a child goes outside of the realm of the parents telling them what to do, you kind of give them a smack on the hand, right? From time to time. So if they refinance this thing for 60 to 70,000 and it's still in that condition, then they might have to suffer a small penalty for that. That penalty could be you get no money at closing. That penalty can be, <clears throat> we don't give, uh, that all we can do is take over your payments. That penalty could be maybe just going to foreclosure, you know, but right now, is there is no reason that the house should be in good condition if they refinanced it and took all that money out. I think they, you know, my dad fell on hard times, so I think they might have um, put a new mortgage on it. Refinance it. Yeah, right yeah. Oh, that's what I think they had to do. Because that's why I said, you know, if I would have known what I know back then, I would have been able to take this off her hands, or either take it off her hands a long time ago, or got rid of it before it went into despair. And it just, you know, Trying to make you know make the family get by and making bad choices or relying on other people, other people's uh, advice perhaps. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I that's what I'm feeling. Well, you know that age group. I see this yeah. every day, dog. Yeah. That age group. They're so damn secretive with stuff. Exactly. Man. Exactly. Exactly. And my dad, my you know my dad took care of all the finances. My mom pretty much was a stay at home mom, taking care of the family. Typical. And uh, you know once he fell on bad times. She's like, what the hell is yeah. Exactly, and <laughs> she, you know, bad choices or not really knowing, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. just, just went backwards. All right, well, that's what it is, man, yeah. you know. Shit. Okay, let me, um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to pay, I don't even know if this thing we need work. Yeah. Yeah. We fix it up, we, you know, make any money on it, but let me brainstorm. Yeah. And then, um, 
if you could get the recent copy of the mortgage statement so we can verify what you owe. Okay. And then we can go from there. Sounds good. We'll, we'll deal with that by the end of the week or something because ain't nobody doing nothing to dig. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and I'm going to ask her, see if she can give me the recent statement of something and see what I, see what I can find out. When last time she made a payment on it? I mean, uh, I wouldn't waste no more money on it. Exactly. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they kind of telling, um, saying something to the effect that she's close to four slows. All right. Maybe uh, three or four, uh, three or four payments, maybe. Okay. I'm not 100% right. positive. But that mortgage statement will tell us exactly. That's why we kind of need to know how urgent. Yeah. It'll say you're, I mean, once you're behind. So I'll ask her today. All right. And uh, see if she'll tell me that. And then see if uh, I can get a mortgage statement from yeah, her. Yeah, we'll just take a picture with your phone and text it over, though. We'll do. We'll do. But, um, yeah, I got a few things in mind, but I don't know yet till I, you know, I don't even like putting nothing together till we know where we are. Totally understand. Totally understand. Yeah. All right, bro, Kenny. All right, bro. You have a good day. Yeah, have a good day. Yes, sir. Thank you. The help. Okay, thank you, buddy. All right. All right, guys. Lord God, I just got to pray for people that are in this situation. Woo. So, mm, mm, mm. my squatting in the house and tow it up from the flow it up. Is that a word? Flow it up? Good God. Unbelievable. So, as we were driving over here, I thought, remember the two things that are uh, that are crucial to a subject too are going to be the loan information and the condition of the property. <laughs> loan information and the condition of the property. I knew his loan was about sixty or seventy thousand, but I let me stay out here. I'm just finding out that the condition of this property is toe up from the flow up. Good God, I don't know what to do. I don't even know where to start. I hope. I, I hope your house doesn't look like that. I don't want to be talking to nobody. I don't want to. I don't know about that ministry in there. Woo. God, I just gotta pray for whoever is opening up cans with a knife and urinating in a water bottle. Let's just pray for them. Let me think how I'm gonna finish this video with you. What our exit strategies will be. Let me think real quick while I'm driving. All right, so we're leaving this house. Looks like they need to need to talk to their bank about doing a loan modification or some type of a short sale on their end because we won't be able to help them with this one. We need to, we need to walk away. It's The condition is too bad for me to even think about doing a subject to. The payments are around $700. They owe 60 to 70. And in order for me to turn it around, it's just the house is falling down. It's a tear down. So this one here, just to let you know, this is why like the back office, what you don't see is so much more powerful than what you do see on, on the videos that I show you. I might look at so many houses in order for me to get one. So this is one that I looked at and just, we just couldn't help but one. So it's actually going to the foreclosure auction, so. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the content below, <clears throat> comment on it, share this content, but I'd like to know what would you do with this particular deal? And tell me a little bit about some of the deals you're looking at. How does this house stack up to some of the houses you've looked at? Okay, it's Chris Haskins, guys, signing off, and I'll see you in our next video. If you want some training or if you want to do business with me, if you want to invest in some of our properties or if you need coaching and training, shoot me an email to the address uh, coming up at, at the end of this video. Okay, bye, guys.